Happy Thursday, everyone. What a great show we got tonight. As you know, just hours after our all-American Christmas tree was torched by a babbling madman, not to be confused with Geraldo, <laughs> a new tree was erected, and it looks absolutely fabulous. So a big thank you to that adorable tiny elf, Dana Perino, and her tiny little elf friends. They worked all night. <laughs> it's almost as fabulous looking as Harold Ford Jr. Yeah. <laughs> like to welcome Mr. Ford to his first time on the show. You need a new agent. <laughs> this show kills more jobs than China. But it's a tribute to the spirit of the people who work here and deliver this magnificent show. You can burn down the damn tree, and we're going to just put up another. And by we, I mean not me. <laughs> Other people did it. I didn't put it back up. The only thing I know how to put up is a two-way bathroom mirror. <laughs> But also, just hours after the Fox Christmas tree was torched by a babbling madman, the babbling madman was released. CNN anchors now face more punishment than arsonists. <laughs> you win universe. Also, here's a funny side story. A photographer told the New York Post that the arsonist had allegedly exposed himself to reporters outside the Ghislaine Maxwell trial in Manhattan last week. Okay, that's not a funny side story. But at least we found something Joe DeVito and the arsonist have in common. <laughs> Thanks to this madman, we're learning how many crimes you can get away with. Showing your junk and burning people's stuff. What Kilmeade calls a Tuesday. <laughs> now, I won't say the Christmas creep's name because that's what he really wants. And also, it's very hard to pronounce. Is it, <laughs> is it Doucet or is it Doucet? <laughs> But it's true. It's doozy. <laughs> the, the arsonist who torched the Fox News Christmas tree was freed after his arraignment on Wednesday night because his charges were not eligible for bail under new liberal reform laws. He has a better chance of facing consequences from Smokey the Bear. Who could have seen this coming? Well, we all did. This whole issue has to do with the revolving door of justice. The guy that lit the tree on fire is probably going to get out today or tomorrow He's make because bail arson. it's not a felony arson for well, what he did. Apparently. It is a ba it's an offense under New York law where he has to be bailed. So he's going to be out. He might be out right now. Mm -hmm. It's weird to live in a world where you can actually predict the bad news, but all you get is a shrug in return. Crime is like being the guy who cleans the restrooms at the View. You clean it up, and it's just worse the next day. <laughs> but it's not like we weren't warned. It's like a weatherman who says, hey, you see that Category 5 off the coast of New Jersey and moving west at 25 miles per hour? I think you should all get the hell out of there. And no one moves. That's our government. You can say to them, look, you're releasing fiends that are about to reoffend. And like Cat confronted with a simple math problem, they just stare blankly. <laughs> and then, of course, the fiends reoffend. I could go through the examples of the violent felons sprung from jail thanks to bail reform, but there are so many of them that it would take up the entire show and bleed literally into the next hour. And the last thing I want to do is piss off evil Shannon Bream. <laughs> But it's old news. Another violent criminal is let loose to beat up another woman, sucker punch another elderly Asian, burn down a Christmas tree. That's how it works. The justice system exists now to keep criminals safe from consequences. I mean, here's a typical scene playing out all over. Good to see you again. We'll have you out of here in a jiff. That'd be great. I have a uh, robbery scheduled for two o'clock today, so. <laughs> well, it is a busy time of year for everyone. <laughs> We'll just run down your pending charges. Uh, larceny, assault, shoplifting, vandalism, public intoxication. Oh, you almost forgot indecent exposure. <laughs> drug dealing, drug possession, weapons possession, unpaid parking tickets, arson and mail fraud. And since none of these are bail offenses, you're free to leave. Happy holidays. That's great, officer. Thank you. Uh, did you forget your mask? Oh, no, no, I don't wear one. No mask. No, no. You son of a bitch! Wait, what? What? <laughs> We're trying to keep this city safe. Ugh. Now, 
So now the Christmas creep is free to roam and burn down other stuff. So where'd he go? Well, there is that 9 p.m. open slot open at CNN. I, I kid, there's no evidence this guy groped anyone. But we all know where he went. He's now the head writer at Colbert. He turned in five cereal box tops to get the job. Last night, Colbert lamely joked about the burning Christmas tree, that it's getting its own show on Fox. But if that were true, it would instantly get better ratings than Colbert. That's, be that's because a Christmas tree fire is way more entertaining than a dumpster fire. Remember this? Uh. That might be a worse crime than arson. <laughs> Hell, even in today's legal climate, a judge would refuse him bail for that felony. But at least he's trying to be funny and failing. What's CNN's excuse? Here's the cranky cricket muncher using the arson attack to slam Fox News. Now, no one was injured in this incident, but they could have been. This is a serious incident. Obviously, it's incredibly scary to feel that your workplace is under attack, unless your workplace is the Capitol. Then, according to many, many Fox hosts, it's not such a big deal. Uh, oh, my God. Only the psychos at CNN could make an arson attack into a, an attack on its target. For CNN, the attack is merely an opportunity to wag your swollen finger at the people who are kicking your ass every night. How imbecilic. Yes, arson is indeed bad, but you didn't care about January 6th. What a miserable wretch. If she got any dumber, she could fill Chris Cuomo's seat. <laughs> Just his seat. So the last few days show you what's good and what's bad about the world. This is stuff Colbert or CNN don't understand, along with others who are walled off from the consequences of unchecked crime. Thanks to a progressive perversion of incentives, criminals react to them as you would expect them to. These people are lawless, but they're not dumb. Meaning if consequences no longer exist for crime, they will commit more crime. And prison was once the disincentive, and it worked, which is why we got rid of it. We are now pissing on the grave of common sense. Now, we, we were lucky that no one died the night of, that, of the arson, but I prefer counting on justice and not luck. It's why I avoid casinos. So the madman walks which sends a message to others like him. Repercussions no longer exist for the most disgusting behavior, whether it's assault, murder, or arson. But there's good news. The tree is back up. And like me, it looks great. And if you keep burning it down, we'll just put up another. That's the real holiday spirit, and we need more of it now than ever. Let's welcome tonight's guest. If he were a bear attack, I'd beat him off in the woods. Fox News contributor Harold Ford Jr. If laughter's the best medicine, he's definitely not FDA approved. Writer and comedian Joe DeVito. Tickets to his shows are a lot like movie endings. You can't give them away. Comedian Joe Maggie. And she's looking forward to not remembering the holidays. Fox News contributor, Cat Tiff. <laughs> Harold, welcome to the show. <laughs> what a show already. Yes, it is. <laughs> so now I know you're definitely not running for president. Because <laughs> this will ruin your chances. Has America lost the plot? If, if this continues, we're done as a country. Because this is kind of the thing that holds us together. is just law and order, right? At our very core. Yeah. And, you know... One of the reasons you have bail when someone is arrested is because you want uh, you want to keep them in jail. Yes. And if they're going to get out, there has to be some there has to be some skin they have in the game or others have in the game. Mm -hmm. um, I thought what happened to the Capitol was terrible. I yeah. thought what happened out here was terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened on the grounds right not far from us. Mm -hmm. And for him to be out yeah. and for us to have to have pictures posted around and security to ensure he didn't come up and try to threaten or do anything to those outside, including you. Something's wrong with the system. Bell reform trying to ensure that nonviolent offenders and those who may end up serving more time than if they were convicted for the, for the offense is a smart thing. Mm -hmm. But a violent offender coddling violence, mm -hmm. encourage, enabling violent offenders, 
Um, that's not Democrat. That's not Republican. To your point, that's the core of our society. That's, yeah. We're rule of we're a, a nation that is governed by a rule of law. Yeah, exactly. We can't have discussions or disagree with each other if we're too scared to go outside. You know, Joe, I thought it was kind of interesting when I saw the pictures of the uh, arsonist. He's better dressed than you. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> Did you notice he had like he had a number of interesting jackets to wear? Yeah, he was very fashion forward. <laughs> he was. He was. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're dressed. Just like uh, Judd Hirsch in Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> the first of many outdated references to come tonight. I'm <laughs> sure, I'm sure. My references are for my audience. I'm not going to like talk about TikTok videos. <laughs> Thank you. Greg, that's just the relief factor talking. You don't really mean it. <laughs> you know, if you snort it, it's just faster acting. <laughs> Learn that from Charlie Kirk. I'm kidding. I'm joking. That's a joke. <laughs> what was the question? I don't think there was a question. No. The question is, what is wrong with this yes. world, Joe? Yeah, it's it's um it's really awful to think that you know we have people. Not just this crazy guy did this thing. It's bad enough that he's he does not seem to have suffered any penalty for it so far. Yeah. But that there are people who are celebrating. Uh, the burning down of a religious symbol beloved by millions of children around the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you see this as something that, oh, ha, ha, take that, Fox News. <laughs> yes. It, it, it really shows the, this world that we live in where things are upside down. And, and this, this guy um, appears to be mentally ill. He's a danger to himself and others. Now, what about the Thrive New York City money? They sent about a billion of that. True. turned it to a slush fund for Mayor Lurch's wife. Yes. And... <laughs> You know, now I think about it, maybe there's no greater sign of mental illness than marrying Bill de Blasio, <laughs> so she should just keep that money. <laughs> now, it's funny, you know, okay, Christmas tree is not necessarily a, re a religious symbol, but it's kind of become one. For sure. It's a festive religious symbol, uh, and you're right, there was really no outrage about it. Fox was just sad because it was so beautiful, mm. but... There was no outrage. I imagine if it were a BLM banner, holy <laughs> it, Joe, if they ever found out what you did, Mackie, Mackie, this guy exposed himself, and he, we find out that must be legal, too. Just so everyone's clear, the arsonist exposed himself, not me. Um, <laughs> I... Uh, you just don't want anyone to get the wrong idea. I don't like... The revolving door of justice, Greg, because I don't even like revolving doors. They're, <laughs> they're my second leading reason for trips to the emergency room <laughs> after falling off treadmills and ahead of mixing bleach and ammonia. Yeah. <laughs> but to yes and Joe's point, uh, I looked up a sti sti uh, on Statistica.com, yeah. a website that handles statisticas, <laughs> that back in, in 1990 when you're... <laughs> when your references were only 10. Uh, the government spent $45 billion on mental health, and in 2020, it was $238.4 in mental health. And to me, it seems like the only thing less accountable than, than criminals is, uh, is government mental health <laughs> funding. It is so true. Where does this stuff go? Because if you walk up and down New York City streets, you see it's, 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 it's a, a menagerie of mental illness. How about that for a, a bit of alliteration, Cat? A menagerie, if you will, of mental illness. Menagerie. Great job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I love how CNN used the arson to like go, but, but remember what you guys did? That's amazing. Anyway. Yeah, it is, it is, I don't know if it's amazing. <laughs> uh, I, you can kind of expect it because also I don't know anybody here or elsewhere that didn't say that January 6th was bad. I know, exactly. <laughs> I've said it so many times and yeah. I feel like I have to say it again now. It was bad, guys. Yeah. I think it was horrible. Yeah. Because everybody wants to think, I don't know where this narrative came from that we don't think it's bad. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the Christmas tree thing, I think it was still remarkable. But again, huge day for arsonists. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't yes. like just like a symbol of whatever love and whatever. I'm not really a Christmas gal. Like, I don't yeah. want to set it on fire, but, you know, whatever yeah. it is. It was also a very expensive one. Mm -hmm. It was like half a million dollars. He completely torches it, and he gets to go home? Yes. 
That's a, I mean, if I were an arsonist, which I am definitely not, right. I would be very excited. Well, the thing is, I believe, like, setting fire to the tree <laughs> is no different than setting fire to a trash can, like, if you start a fire in a trash can, because there's no human potential of being in it. So, unless, you know, you're, like, uh, gra there, There's grouchy. always, there's human potential of being anywhere. Yes, <laughs> but that's why, that's why. So, it's, even the cost is, is not relevant. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and, and, you know, and people forget that, uh, because firefighters do such a great job that even for something like that, that they got under control very quickly, someone could have easily died. It was yeah. a blaze. It's very dangerous. Yeah, it was. But you know what? I got to tell you, we got a great hour of programming out of it at the five. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. burn those trees. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> but it really was nice. We had a big crowd out there. It was mm. quite enjoyable. We also had, it was catered. So I had like, <laughs> I got pigs in the blanket. I love pigs in the blanket. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.